Hello everybody, welcome to game number four. Could be tricky against Chorfs, but do have the strength advantage. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm, I'm victorious. And I will defend. Glorious. I will defend. JBG with a gift sub. Thank you very much, JBG. Absolutely glorious. Oh, mate, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? You take voids? You seem to know a lot about them, mate. Fuck <laughs> off. Isn't it? Yeah, Skuro. Like, semi skimmed is bad enough. Skemmy skimmed is just a fucking scam. By, like, uh. It's like, it's like selling watered down beer and saying this is beer, isn't it? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, semi skimmed is already a fucking scam. But, uh, skimmed is just a joke. So, at least he's only got five blockers. And two bulls. And uh, he's got a block shot. He's got four rerolls. He's got a bit of bloat on the team. Alright, so this could be okay. <gasps> oh, I thought I'd conceded then! Fuck me! <laughs> I literally thought I'd conceded because I just clicked them both dead fast. Yeah, so babe. <laughs> I've never seen Swanson. What shows are you? I've seen like, I've seen clips of him and stuff, and like you know memes. Of him. Yeah, it's like, I, I can't believe it's. A, I can't believe it's. It's such a like such a con. Like it's unbelievable. I looked at like you know the things. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Um, I've looked at the things. You know, like the stats of Paul Milk, and it's fine. It's like. It's not worth anything about it. There's literally no point in getting semi skin. Yeah, it's like, you know, all, well, not in, not in macro, just like all of the things. I just looked at all of the stats. All of the stats. All of the things. And I'm like, this isn't even bad. This isn't even bad. It was a great thing, you know, Huel. There was an advert for Huel, and it was, uh, you could either have six eggs or you could have a Huel shake, and I'm like, this isn't selling Huel, this is just telling me to eat six eggs. <laughs> That'd be brilliant, it was like, you could make you could make an omelette of six eggs, or you could eat this, and I'm like, yeah, I'd like a fucking six egg om omelette, thank you very much. Why the, why, the, why the fuck would I want a shitty little shake? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. he's, he's kicking in the snow. I mean, should be able to get a draw at this game at least now. Then, with receiving, you get, you still get, you still get channel points, don't you? By being, you, you get more by being a sub, don't you? you? Literally, get more channel points by being a sub. I mean, not that I have went out and had six eggs or anything, table leg, but, um, you know, I'm not saying, <laughs> saying it was reek. <laughs> I mean, you do reek, don't you, if you have, uh, if you have loads of, loads of, you have, you reek if you have loads of, uh, whey protein anyway, don't you, so, if you're on hue, you'd reek as well, wouldn't you? Not just eating eggs, but I mean, I didn't eat eggs, it was just, I just saw an advert. I just saw an advert for Huel and I thought, wow, I'd quite like to eat six eggs. I didn't eat six eggs. I just thought, this this is an advert for... All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I just thought, why would I want to deny myself eggs? This is this is not a good advert for Huel. <laughs> Onion patches. Badges. Bring back Fault Force Mew. It was only a thing when he wanted it to be a thing. When, to be fair. Cornered. Oh, yeah. Corn red, cornered. Yeah, yeah. You'll be cornered. Yeah. And blood. But it's not not with a chorf team. Chorfs, you should hash it up. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you're <laughs> if you're popcorn pun. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> ah, no, it's worse. But at least it made sense. It's not worse, is it? It's better because her shut is what it is. It's not fucking corn. So this guy's an idiot and should be ashamed of himself. And I'm the first one to tell him that. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it was good or bad? Right, the block guy's gonna blitz him. And the mighty blow guy is going to put... touchdown ne vont pas tarder. Le yeah. sorcier du studio m'en a promis au moins avant le coup de sifflet final. That's not the same. Okay, this is what's happening. He's gone there, he's gone there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, he can come back. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, Get out of man! Town. I'll take as long as I fucking need, thank you very much. <laughs> right. Mighty blow, hobble, uh, block the hobble. Because he's got block, right? And so it's a 75% knockdown on the hobble, seems good. And then mighty blow on the LOS. Uh, just get perfect defence, so don't mighty blow anybody or block anybody. Just, uh, just get screwed by perfect defence. Nah, he shouldn't be able to screw us too hard, should he? He's only got two strength four. So, perfect defence, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, but it's not gonna block as good as I would, right? I was gonna get a 3D, right? I was gonna blitz him with block, come back, get a 3D, and then, uh, well, actually, he was gonna come back, then he was gonna go up there for the 3D, then he was gonna, then he was gonna make a 2D, then he was gonna make a 3D, so it was gonna work all lovely with three dice blocks. But unfortunately, it's not gonna work lovely with three dice blocks, now it's gonna work with two dice blocks. I'm probably not going to get his hit, his Hobgoblin with block. It looks like he might be giving us more blocks though, Hope which is guys. nice. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the Might be giving us more blocks, base. but then more blocks is more chance to 1 in 9, isn't it? Which is a bit crap. So like, giving away blocks isn't even bad for the chaffs a lot of the time. <laughs> yes, but really. easy to say. No, I won't give easy in to say. until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Time to make some corned beef out of those bull centaurs. <laughs> After that, we can all celebrate two years of subs with some beer of the Mooten King Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Mooton King, the glorious <laughs> Mooton King. Thank you very much, Jordan Millie. Uh, no longer Mill Ward, I guess. Um, thank you very much for staying fantastic for two whole years. Six whole beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. The Mutan King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this lad will 2D this lad. He has given us some severe 2 Ds of lads. Um, and still get the blitz with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that looks great. There's nothing. And... There's a screen, a screen within a screen. I guess we roll a one man on these hits. It's disappointing, isn't it? Not that bothered about making that block. Or making the pickup. So 
So maybe just make this block and don't re-roll the one in nine. Shit that that one wasn't a power, because if that had been a power, could have followed, and then all the others would have been two Ds, wouldn't they? And then this guy would have been cleared. Which would have been nice. Oh, outrageous. Outrageous made the pickup. Hello, PC. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. First time in ages, isn't it? Unbelievable. Which way? Which way am I here? Yeah, over here is... yeah, it's better. <laughs> I can believe this didn't spot the typo, yeah. <laughs> For sure, table like. For sure, man. I'll get some boobs. I'll get some boobs and then uh, it'll be pretty good, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be pretty great to be an attractive lady, to be fair. God, that would be glorious, wouldn't it? What a life. What a life you could have if you were an attractive little girl. <laughs> but, you know, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I'm an ugly bloke instead. But hey, at least, at least uh, I'm alright at a niche game from 1980. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's true, table leg. But I mean, it would be fantastic if you were attractive, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Here comes the claw hit. Instant removal. Not even using the claw. After giving us extra blocks on the LOS and doing nothing with knocking down the hobo and everybody else. Instant removal. From the one block back. <laughs> Some things just don't change, do they? <laughs> Some things just don't fucking change. After he made a GFI as well, he made a fucking GFI for the assist. A 3 plus GFI for the assist. Gets a removal. Why not? Why not? <laughs> this guy's 502. And with all due respect, his first turns have been terrible. <laughs> his setup and his first turn have been terrible. I don't want to go on like Artemis here, but his first two turns have been genuinely terrible. At least that's alright. It's only alright, it only dictates where the blitz comes. Hurt dark, base, 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 this won't fail, I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. block everybody, or I could just block him free and then he could blitz. <laughs> I marked him myself. Yeah, I made a GFI in the bloody snow. What an absolute shit. I can't believe it's not but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I could, I could two D him and then only one D the ball. That seems a bit shit, though, doesn't it? I could just not even hit the ball, just leave him stuck on the ball. Give you 
secours de ce joueur. Ça va faire mal. It's the whole team together in his claws, not doing too much. <laughs> Thanks, Liam Go. <laughs> oh, fuck off, you fucking penis. I just like I just like doing it. The funny thing is, I just like doing it. I've got, I've got nothing. I've got I'm under no illusion that they're any good or funny or anything. And I've got nothing against Artemis, of course. I just I just like to do it. There you go. Can I even make a block? Maybe I could have re-rolled that, but I don't know, with only three re-rolls. I think it's a bit early. It's not like it's given too much away. Because he's still got to commit three guys to two to the warrior, hasn't he? And then a different guy to get the assist for the uh, Or he can just 1D him into the, into the 2D from Cole. And then it's a different guy to make it a 2D on the night you blow. Into a two dice Kaz! Of course! Oh, god damn it. What a fucking joke. If I'd rerolled that one in nine, he wouldn't have had that block in. I guess he would have still just blitzed with a claw, but fuck's sake, man. That's terrible, isn't it? It's a terrible play. And he's made two removals from his terrible play. <laughs> and there's, there's no there's no Dave impression to make. Table leg. There's just literally no table there's no there's literally no impression to make. Here we go. Here's, here's the Devo impression for you, right? Here's your Devo impression. There you go. But you've got to imagine that during that time, of course, I've made like seven removals. There you go. Oh, hey, Wanga. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to mention him, to be honest. So that's easy. Oh, come off it, man! He gets the ball down. Oh, he hasn't done anything. <laughs> I didn't want to min I didn't want to mention it. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Hotek. Yeah, which I've done before, so there you go. Nah. To be fair, Skuro's too good at Blood Bowl to be uh to be zunk anyway. <laughs> Skuro doesn't offend me with how bad he is at Blood Bowl, so he's a terrible zunk. <laughs> By which, of course, I mean no offence to zunk. I just, I just don't like watching people who are really bad at Blood Bowl. <laughs> he may well be a lovely fellow, although he said some not so lovely things about me and stuff. Um, which, you know, I'm not that I'll hold a grudge or anything, but it seems funny when people will say so and so is a lovely fellow when I've had them specifically be really, really not nice <laughs> to me. <laughs> um, I find it harder to believe he's a lovely fellow, but hey, maybe he is. But that's beside the point. I just really can't watch people who are just terrible at blood ball. I just can't do it. That's not that's not a slight on him. It's just uh it's it's a it's just it's just my thing, isn't it? Like <laughs> 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 
<laughs> there you go. No, so for now. I mean, I should have, I should have clicked it or recorded it or whatever, but I didn't. So it's done. It just matter, it? I mean, well, I, I shouldn't have anyway. It doesn't matter, does it? Just fucking it's done, isn't it? It's just done. Yeah, he's old, though, isn't he? Old butcher. He's old. <laughs> but um, look, I don't want to slag him off anyway. I don't. I don't fucking care. You know, the thing is, I just don't care, do I? I just don't fucking care. So, is what it is. Squirrel won uh, won SFL season two and season five. There you go. I love Brussels sprouts. Um, so I wouldn't mind spelling Brussels sprouts because it means I would have won. Oh, sorry, season three and season five. Well, sorry, but st still, he's the he's the two season champion. The two time champion. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, Skrull may have mentioned once or twice that he's the two-time champ of SFL. <laughs> no, I think you mentioned it enough, Skrull, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I think you mentioned it enough. Hard to advance with getting removed on, isn't it? I think that Beastman has to take the claw hit. I have to basically retreat a bit. To get the hit on the other guy. This, this is, I don't like retreating here. Hmm. It's turn four, isn't it? I don't want to retreat. Like, I could move the whole cage back to get the 2D there. But moving back seems bad. This is one guy's that guy at the end. We don't get to move forward. I haven't got block anyway, right, for the blitz, so might as well re-roll it into pals and do with mighty bro. Glorious. That wouldn't have even been a knockdown with block, right? You would have taken the both down with block. So it was a knockdown that block wouldn't have got. And a removal that block wouldn't have got. Wonderful. Maybe I just don't make this and just tie up his players. So we've both got nine men on the field. Nice. Would be or uh, look details. Details, Muppet. Details. <laughs> yes, Scrooge did win that big fight against Golden Fagot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, to be fair, most of us have had more success in Blood Bowl than JFW. There's very few champs, isn't there, overall, really? Notably, Ori Lensis and Lean Gary and uh, Tony. And after that, the belts have been a bit. Uh, nah. But yeah, thinking about it uh, last night. Uh, just Joe will be pretty good backstage, won't he? Because um, it uses your, uh, what's it called, like object damage or whatever, or, or there's something that affects how well you do like backstage and outside the ring. And obviously Jeff Hardy will have pretty high for it. You know, whatever it is, like fucking extreme rating or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck they call it. It'll be pretty good for uh, for Jeff Hardy, won't it? Seeing as he's, you know, complete mad ass. So yeah, it's not too surprising that Joe won. But then obviously Stone Cold, you'd expect to have a decent rating for that as well. So never mind. 
A second place finalist in the UK BBL, yeah. That's something to crow about, isn't it? We would have won if it wasn't for fucking... Uh, <laughs> we would have won if it wasn't for fucking Hippie. <laughs> I've got no idea, Limardis. No idea. And sadly, I don't have the ability to give you any either. Um. Hey! He uses his first reroll on turn four. <laughs> so now there's a chance to maybe cut through there, isn't there? If he leaves this if he leaves this hinge weak, if he moves this hobble, which is exactly what you thought he would do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I thought you would do. Um, now we just need a knockdown here, really. This is this is the big one, isn't it? The knockdown here. Can't re-roll it though. But a knockdown here is glorious. Of course, it's a fucking push. You can still blitz through here, but it's just going to be dodgy now. Another push. Wondrous. Absolutely fucking wonderful. Never lucky. Another gym pal. With with even a power on the first one, it would have, that could have been great, couldn't it? With a power on the second one, could have uh, could have actually got forward. <laughs> what a fucking what a fucking day that would have been. Getting over half 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 getting over the halfway line. Amazing. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it, Jellio? That's like, that's a pretty... Although it kind of, you know, wasn't great for us, it's kind of cool that it, that it happened. <laughs> yeah, the blitz on the power. Could have maybe re-rolled it, I guess. Because the, the ball was still safe, wasn't it? Maybe that could have been a re-roll. But it's still, a power on the first one would have been really good to have made the blitz with, the, with that guy, wouldn't it? Obviously, he's got strength four, movement nine sweepers. And now he might overcorrect too far, might be able to bust up the other way, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Funny because that hobble that he moved like really did leave him open, didn't it? Yeah, he's really slow, isn't he? I've, I've, my mind has completely wandered in between turns. Yeah, he's going to claw blitz every turn, isn't he? Which is fair enough. Isn't it? It's more chance to make a Randall removal. God, he takes fucking forever. He's, he's been high rolling a lot, yeah. He gave up loads of blocks on the LOS. He's, he's, I made, like he's made about fucking six or seven blocks. End the turn, totally. for fuck's sake! <laughs> End the fucking turn, <laughs> man! He's given up a lot of blocks. Um, he's been high rolling a lot. He has got the potential to fuck it up. And, and take even longer as well. Yeah. Right, so can can block these two down, and then 
mash everything up here. Roll and have to re-roll. So just do the block bits. Ça ressemble furieusement à un vieux spectacle traditionnel d'Estalie. Ouais, je tenais la tauromachie. Hey, la tauromachie. Go quite far over the side here. Again, I think he might like over re re over commit. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Timing him seems all right. I know I'm running out of time, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know it's pretty horrible. But I mean, it's it's hard, isn't it, when you guys get removed by claw. It's hard. No, I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. I never said it was easy. <laughs> Maybe I should have re-rolled that. Looking for the power. The turn before. I mean, he nearly left that open, didn't he, right, with these two? Like, he nearly left it open, so hopefully he can fuck it up. Yeah, and the good thing is I can just tag the bulls. And just tagging the bulls will uh, will do a lot, won't it, with them not having break tackle. So... Total War Warhammer 3 is coming out, isn't it? So I wish I liked Total War. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I liked Total War games. Because Total War Warhammer would be amazing then, wouldn't it? But Total War seems shit to me. I mean, he sure doesn't have to have bad dice. But I would imagine he'd make a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, Wanger and I have a buddy who loves Total War and loves Warhammer, so for him it's it's completely amazing. But um Yeah, I never liked Total War. Problem here is not being able to move laterally, isn't it? But he hasn't covered the sideline. <laughs> Um, so that's interesting, isn't it? Problem is getting in front of him. Three players to protect the ball. Can't really go up this side because he can't move laterally. So could blitz could blitz him and then make this dodge. But only on a pow. We need a pow anyway. So Maybe 
could just tag him. I'd really like to just GFI, but if I'm going to GFI, then I can just GFI with the ball, can't I? So he can go there, and then he can double GFI to protect. Do you think that was huge? I don't think it matters a lot. Alright, there's a chance. Oh, baby. I don't know, if I, do, if I block him, then um, if I skull, then he comes in here. I've got the real. I was thinking of dodging to base him, but then he gets the claw hit for free, doesn't he? And then gets the hobo in. So, don't know. See you, JBG. Yeah, it wasn't really. There wasn't really. Unfortunately, I, there, with the, there wasn't really an easy way to get it with only one GFI. I don't think. I mean, that warrior could have moved first and made one GFI, but then he would have had to have moved first, or at least this way, he got up there first, so he was in range, right? Um. So. Yeah, fair enough, Jelly Deals. Oh my god, stop fucking removing everybody. <laughs> he just does the 1D power before anything involving the ball. The fuck out of here. <laughs> just did the 1D. Oh shit, he was down there, he could have dodged and faced or something. 1D fucking removal. Now, yeah, now the score's huge, right? Because with the score, we'll get two KO rolls. And without it, no. Well, what? Oh, wow, he's doing the blitz with him to get him back. To get both bulls back. I can't believe he did the one. I mean, probably right to do the 1D, to be fair. Because it's just a 2 plus to free the hobble, isn't it? But, um, look, he could, he could one in nine this. No. I guess it was the right play to make the one day. You just didn't have to get the fucking power, did he? <laughs> didn't have to get the power and the removal, did he? But I think it was the right play to make it. Then he does another 1D and gets the fucking cards. <sighs> yeah, it's a block versus a non block. So 2 3. Looks like the best player, doesn't it? I mean, you could block him, but then it's like 1 in 9, and then could. Blitz him and then block him and then get everyone down and then move laterally one but still a three plus. Probably easy just to do the two plus three plus. Three plus for the match, really, isn't it? Because we fail this, don't score, and uh, the KOs don't come back. 
three. Huge three plus. Annoying. Annoying half, really. Okay, all three come back anyway, unbelievable. Two cars and three KOs. Pretty annoying. I don't want to say look a dog, but he was a fucking look a dog. <laughs> Thanks, Mel <Melville. clears throat> Oh, yeah, zero bib. Oh, yeah, there was a bib as well, oh, so it wasn't that important to score, but it's still good. Yeah, zero bib value. I think babes are shit. I think they're genuinely shit. I'd literally pretty much only take them, like, two on a on a necro or undead team. That was really rough half, wasn't it? But it's not looking like a loss at least. And it might even he might even be down his sure hands play for the second half. That would be alright, wouldn't it? He could be he, well it couldn't be down then, but it, we could be ten each. We could be ten aside. And he could be down sure hands and it's not it's looking like a loss is isn't gonna happen. Like obviously you could make loads of cars and go for the win, but glorious. I love Blood Bowl. I, I kinda love it, but I kinda hate it at the same time, isn't it? That's the thing. Oh yeah. Like and I would take prayer, prayers to Nuffle over a babe a lot of the time. Okay. Yeah, exactly, no gold. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't even know what was said or how it, how it translates, Chugs. You'll have to explain it. <laughs> or you love it and you hate it. Yeah, there's no hub to foul. Which is alright, isn't it? Is there one? Not not now. He's activating. 3D with his claws in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I like, I like all the thinking about things and everything, but then... Yeah, the good thing is though, Mellow Gold, you can take the Apple and Apple a KO, can't you? So, like, that's. Oftentimes, Appoing a KO is going to be better than having two babes. Even if you roll for twos. <laughs> oh, J5. You are a good bastard. Uh, no, I quit all my leagues, Volk. Um, and will not be rejumping any. <laughs> He stayed out! Woo! No, scheduling is the worst thing about Blood Bowl. So I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. SFL, I'm annoyed because both times I've joined SFL, it's been when I've been hating Blood Bowl. And I thought, I'll hate it less if it's with people I like. And I didn't hate it less with people I liked. <laughs> I just let them down instead of let, letting down random people. So um, I'm not going to do it again. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quit Rebel just because... I mean, I quit Rebel and I quit OFL mid-season and while they may not like it I've got no regrets because I just wasn't feeling the leagues and it was for my own mental health that I quit which is fair enough isn't it I 
if they don't like that, they can fuck right off, to be honest. That's what I would say. Is CCL the best place to play BB? No, I mean I think the best place to be to play BB would be, you know, SFL, right? But um, or TSD or whatever. But um, but I I just hate scheduling. I fucking hate scheduling. No, no, he was in. He was in Rebel. He was in Rebel. But then when he tried to rejoin, he was denied. <laughs> But um, leagues are weird because, like, if you enjoy them, it's fair enough. But fucking tiered leagues are bollocks. Yeah, he was in and quit and then wasn't let back in. I didn't know he'd lost his zunk. That's uh, impressive. Yeah, but the thing is, J5, it doesn't matter how easy it is for you, it's the fucking dickhead people that you get who, like you say, I can play Monday to Friday between 2pm and 9pm, and then they say, how about Sunday at 1pm, and then they get the win. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's literally what happened in UKBBL, so I quit UKBBL. Like... The fuck is that about? It's insane. Like, it doesn't matter how much availability you've got if your opponent is a twat and the admins are twats, then you're up shit creek. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, unbelievable. That, like, that's the thing. I've had, like, you know, I've pretty much forever had incredible availability. And it's just fucking, it doesn't even matter if, if the people that you're playing don't. It's bullshit. Alright, two, two block mans and a mighty blow mans. Three block mans! Outrageous. You, yeah, there, there is, he had four rerolls, yeah, and he got an extra one. <laughs> He didn't need any first half, but it means the lack of show hands isn't going to be a problem. But still, at least he's a player down. Nah, Jaleel. I mean, obviously it depends on your own availability as well. But I mean, I've had great availability forever. And it's just always been the idiots that I've fucking had scheduled. Like, it, I just always seem to get unlucky, man. Just always. Like... Fumble up, you know, I gave up black box and that in Fumble and just played tournaments and then I always had the worst luck of scheduling in those as well. Like, maybe I'm just unlucky. <laughs> maybe I'm just unlucky. Yeah, TT, scheduling, yeah. Well, Wanger and I, and uh, two more people who live in Darlow, we, we had a... We had a league and we just did it on Fumble because it was easier. It was easier to play on Fumble than it was in real life. <laughs> and so we didn't even play tabletop despite us all having tabletop teams and bots. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Oh, he's gone for the four plus. Could maybe put pressure on. I don't hate this actually because can tag him and then get the mighty blow hit, uh, not mighty blow block hit on a hobo is nice, isn't it? And then can get a pow here potentially. Burp, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. Um, how do we do this? Make the push good enough. I guess is what we do. Him on there, be strength four. Now the push will be good, won't it? Yep. He knew it was coming. That gives us the two D on him. 
Another push, wonderful, just what we needed. Fantastic, I'm really happy. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. Him in there, maybe? No, no basing of the ball, thank you very much. Oh, what's this more down Let me read. I haven't felt a 2 a.m. your time on Monday. Amazing. Amazing. Hello, Marcel. Yep, back with first count. That is pretty simple, Coffee Monster, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, J five. It's true, but just people don't read the rules. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Moradam. That that same thing happened to me, except I got a loss in UKBBL, and they said this this was the best part because I'd fucking bent over backwards in the previous rounds and didn't this round, then that's why I got the loss. Like what the fuck? Like what the fuck, man? <laughs> it's insane. Hey, a shame he's got infinite. Hey! All right, I was gonna say shame he's got infinite amount of rerolls, but um, didn't matter. Yeah, of course, Jalil. Yes, that was the real reason. Yes. GG, he says. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't put an extra guy in. Because now um, he can't block as well, can he? Let's see if we can get a paddle here. Fish for a paddle. Rerolls obviously coming in hot on the one in nines. I think he has to block here, doesn't he? Mm. Fucking paddle. Is he quit? I can block him, then block him, then 2D him, then 2D him, then 2D him, then blitz him. But even then, blitzing him doesn't really help, does it? I guess I could dodge. Blitz, pick up. He could just go there. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, no, G. Coleman, he, he like he he made it a draw instead of a loss, but um, I didn't get an apology, so I quit. Also, literally, right? I um, I offered before the deadline, like there's a deadline to 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 post your availability. And my opponent hadn't posted his availability. And then I posted my availability before the deadline. Before him and before the deadline, but after the admin had PM'd me. And then he says, like, you only posted your availability because I told you to. And it's like, no. <laughs> no. I posted before the deadline, you fucking prick. If you hadn't fucking messaged me, I would have still fucking posted it. You absolute penis. <laughs> well, this is good if this is a concession, isn't it? That's lovely. Yeah, Moradam, that's pretty insane. That was UK BBL help. That's why I quit. And then after I quit, they banned me, which I thought was funny. But I just quit mid-season because I thought, fuck that. I mean, you know, to be fair, yeah, G. Coleman did, did make it a draw. But, um... But still, I was still pissed off that I got no apology. So, there you go. <laughs> no idea. No I mean, look, he said GG and then he disconnected. So, nope, he's back. <laughs> he's back. God, always the fucking... Oh, he disconnected again. 
fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tony. <laughs> oh God, do you reckon Arcane is that? Is that when it is? Oh God, that'll be annoying. Not being a scene. Yeah, like this guy made no effort, and I was pissed off, and I'm not going to bend over backwards for him. So I was like, no, I, the, the, I posted my availability before the deadline. There was no way out. There's, like, there was literally no way it should have been a loss. Like. You know, I was I was hard done by by a draw, but I could see the draw being you know fair enough. But to give us a loss was outrageous. So I and then and then and then even afterwards, he was like still fucking being a dick. The admin even after it'd been changed to a draw by G Coleman, he was the the admin was still being a twat about it. So I was like fuck off. <laughs> That's glorious, eh, Dev? Yeah, the, I'll tell you who was amazing in, in Rebel. There was somebody... The, oh, I can't remember his name. The one with the Kislev who I completely reamed. <laughs> he was a lovely fella. And not just because he had Kislev and was completely reamed. He was actually a lovely fella. And the, the scheduling was like, like a dream. I mean, there were a few people, to be fair. I think... Sp Spartacus? There were a few people who were a complete dream to schedule with in, in Rebel, to be fair. Oh, that's a GFI. I think I'm going to make this block just to get him on the ball. Like, it isn't, it isn't max, it's not maxing blocks, is it? Which it could have been. But I think... Getting him on the ball is nice. Un ballon par terre est un ballon dangereux. He could blitz him, and then the other one can move up. I quite like that actually. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Oh, ça met quelle pagaille! Mm. Now there's a lot, a lot of tackle zones, isn't there? Shame that I didn't get the knockdown on that CDB to tag the to tag the ball. I guess I could try dodging to tag the ball. I just punched him. Let's be honest, I just punch, 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 punch. That's his claw control as well, isn't it? So looking pretty good now. Heavy ball basing, yeah. <laughs> he can push him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, got the power, got a cast. Beautiful. He's up to 13. If he gets a tutty, he gets a second skill already. Like, he can clear the ball and go for a bull picker. Oh, God. Finally gets punished on the 1D, nearly. I mean, that was a pointless 1D, wasn't it? Like, it was a good 1D that the claw did. I just didn't like that he got the removal. Hope so. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. That was the plan, yeah, Doctor Satisfying. I'm, I, I might take Mighty Blow, though. <laughs> I might take Mighty Blow. But the plan was to go block tackle Mighty Claw Pilot. Um, but whether I'll no, stick to that plan. No, I won't. Give yeah, it is, it is pretty quick, isn't it? It's quick I'm victorious. Thought, and I will I defend. I will defend. 
and got the other block guy as well, right? The other block guy could go tackle. Thank you very much, Backyard Dodo. 32 glorious months. Uh, what's that? Eight beaver pregnancies, is it? Yeah. God, that was too fast. Eight times four. <laughs> yeah. Eight whole beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, yeah. Right. What's the play here? Scatter with him. I'll do this block first. So that he can move in after blitzing. If he has to. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Arcaney, thank you very, very much. Staying fantastic for four whole months. One beaver pregnancy. Glorious. Thank you very much. Get another scatter. Yes, good. Now it's next to his ball. <laughs> Base the ball. Strand him on the warrior. No, strand him on the warrior. Yeah. Get this warrior in there. Put him in there. Hurt there. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on And this is okay, isn't it? Like, it's tough for him getting the hobble knocked down, getting the, only the balls around the ball, massively outnumbered around the ball. So I don't think there's any rush to like go and pick it up or anything. Yeah, yeah, Jordan Millie, that was that was essentially the same as pretty much all of my leagues when I uh, <laughs> when I quit and the OFL were like right twats about it. <laughs> OFL were complete dicks about it, whereas uh, whereas obviously SFL and uh, SFL and Rebel were fine with it. Well, I mean, I don't know what Rebel didn't. You know, I just said I'm quit. And Rebel were like, fair enough. Whereas OFL were like, no, 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 he left. He's the worst person in the world. Oh, why did he say? Why did he join up and leave? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then, and then, coincidentally, uh, coincidentally, Volpe's was in was in OFL, and he quit. And then they all randomly said that he was doing it because he was a fucking uh, he was oh well, was something anyway. Just saying that he did it because of, he just quit because I quit and stuff, and they were fucking all having to go at him as well. Fucking weird. Bastard. Yeah, no, yeah, J five, yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you like that? Right. So go for another... Another... Scatter? Yeah, I mean, it's just, there's a lot of fucking weirdos in real life, isn't there? At the end of the day. In, in, on Earth, there's a lot of weirdos. So the question is to block with... Uh, block without block. Gets two players freed. But I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> this is rough, isn't it?
Where, where can he go? I've got to make the block to get him through. That would be the best. But I want to make a blockless block. Unless it's on the ball. Okay. So tag him. Guess this is the thing that I lose least out of if it fails. There you go, there's the one in nine. But it's okay. Now the thing is, the scattering means that he then that he gets the he gets the two D on him, then the two D on him, and then he clears the ball, doesn't he? Whereas pushing him there, he's he's tagged out, and he's he's still kind of a bit overwhelmed on the strength front. Whereas if I pushed him there, he could have overwhelmed me. Not a coward, no. <laughs> I'd happily fight you in real life, Orange Scissors. I'll kick the shit out of you. All right, fucking Orange Scissors. What kind of name is that? <laughs> um, I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them. Yeah, I'm sure I'm into admins have to. Fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> Dolph, Lundgren, Dolph Lundgren would not call himself Orange Scissors. I know that for a fact. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Dolph Lundgren wouldn't waste his time watching Blood Bowl, would he? Holy shit. <laughs> Orange knows karate. If he knows karate, I'd definitely kick his ass. Karate is completely undamaging. <laughs> it's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way Dolph Lundgren would be sat here watching Blood Bowl, would he? Jesus Christ. He's just too cool. He's just too cool, Tony. He wouldn't be like us fucking nerds, would he? He's too cool for schools, Dolph Lundgren. And he sure as shit wouldn't be watching me. <laughs> There's no doubt at all. No doubt at all, no orange scissors, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe could be a. Uh, maybe could. Yeah, imagine Sasha Gray. <laughs> um, do you know what? He could be a. Uh, could be Henry Cavill, but he's just an actor. I'd destroy him. <laughs> I've been in the SAS. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Weird. Yeah, he's he's an actual nerd, isn't he? He's is an actual big massive nerd, is old Cavill. He could conceivably play Blood Bowl and like like it. <laughs> yeah, Dolph is a legit badass, yeah. Oh, come on, this is skulls! They're not even one in nines, it's just skulls. I want to re-roll it. I think I just go for the four plus pickup blitz. Because failing the pickup wouldn't be terrible. And uh, if he makes it, obviously that's much better, isn't it? So that was all right. That worked out quite well. Blockless block before the block block. Some would say fucking stupid and terrible, but um, there was a reason. I, d I don't know what the reason was, but uh, there was a reason that I thought that was a better one to do. I don't know why. 
And I didn't see this warrior until I pushed the wrong direction, otherwise I'd have pushed him into the warrior as well. But never mind. I guess he could be a nerd, yeah. I guess he could be a nerd and a badass. <laughs> Fucking have you. <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to settle it in the JFW orange scissors. <laughs> I guess I could fight you and uh, I could fight you with Jimcon if you want. Like if you're actually Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> ah, disappointing. <laughs> Doing the Expendable Seven or whatever. He man Dolphin the GFW would be pretty good, that's what I was thinking, HTK. Get Dolphin the GFW. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not it's not bad to be a nerd, is it? No, look at that, he made the dodge, you should have gone for the dodge too, dude. Which action star have the most possible chance of being up? Good question, J5. Tom Cruise. He's about three foot tall. There you go. Angelina Jolie! Oh shit, yeah. Um, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> but yeah, I guess more realistic Angelina Jolie because she still counts and she's old as fuck. So that would work. Just score this turn, right? Fern Troy, is he an action star? <laughs> yeah, he's too he's still three foot tall though, isn't he? <laughs> but I was I was I was limiting it to men, so yeah, definitely definitely Angelina Jolie. Because she's old. And a woman. That's pretty good. It's a good combination for beating up. <laughs> oh god. Hey, didn't double score up both down. The score and the game's over. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't call him an action star. Whereas yeah, Angelina Jolie was a uh, Tomb Raider, wasn't she? So can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Angelina Jolie, 100%. Kick the shit out of her. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, you know, Arnie's wife in that movie, True Lies. <laughs> Who's that? And Halloween. Whatever her name is. Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, I've already said that on the stream. I'd kick the shit out of Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> I'd have her. Because <laughs> I always thought it was... Yeah, she's old now. Exactly. She's really old. Oh, Ripley. Ripley. She's pretty old, isn't she? There you go. We'll go for the really old... Really, really old ladies. <laughs> there you go. P. Diddy. Nick Cage. Nick Cage would be. I, I can't imagine him being a badass at all. <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't because it's Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> but, I mean, the good thing is. Ketsuzoku is even if they did, it's not going to be that unenjoyable. Is it? <laughs> so maybe Scarlett Johansson. Maybe Scarlett Johansson's the number one. 
<laughs> yeah, Terminator. But her, uh, a twin sister might might team up and kick the shit out of you. Nah, I've never heard that in the line. Maybe that was just a thing in, in your celebrity circles. <laughs> Ensuite, j'ai du Dr. Flu, un voyageur du temps affecté par la pluie. I didn't know for gonna make Did Arnie just batter him? C'est du bon, mais c'est un peu capillotracté parfois. <laughs> 50 cents, pretty jacked, isn't he? Pitbull's just like old and short and fat. No one's filled the GFI in this match. <laughs> Hello, Benny Bartes. Uh, yeah, four four and zero after this one. Uh, standard starting roster: four warriors, seven beast men, three rewards. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Just bounced off. Awesome. <laughs> I had a dream. I don't know if I don't know if Wang is still around. I had a dream, funnily enough, that that we were at some kind of uh, we were at some kind of like army training facility, and Shaq was there. And we were all, we, everyone was in like, everyone was in like, you know, boxing, like a, old amateur boxing. They don't have amateur bo helmets anymore. Everyone had like, you know, the old amateur hel amateur boxing helmets. And they're all just having fights. And fucking Shaq's there, you know, seven foot two, whatever, just laying waste to everybody. And then, and then he was distracted. And Wanger saw his chance. And Wanger fucking steamed in, blindsided him, and just cracked him in the side of the head, like... Insanely, like launches himself at him, and just Shaq just turns around, just completely, <laughs> completely nothing, completely no sells it, and just starts kicking the shit out of Wanga. It was pretty funny. Random dream there for you. I'm sure you all loved that. Oh baby, yeah, that's what they, that's what they say in bowling. Yeah. That's what they say. Which I guess it could be true, right? Well, they said that he, he was close to dying because he, he fucking did something that if it had been bad, he could have... Uh, it could have been bad, is what they say. Now, of course, whether it's all bullshit and they just say it because they want to be badasses desperately. But I believe, like, uh, I believe that Dolph actually has done something, so... I believe Dolph has some legit legitimacy to himself. Yeah, exactly, Jelly. Oh, yeah. It's like wrestling wrestling stories, isn't it? Like wrestlers always have these tales of like insanity things that happen. It's like, did they fuck? <laughs> you know, <laughs> did they fuck happen? Probably. You know, I mean, Stallone definitely wants to be a real boxer, doesn't he? You know, so like maybe they just thought that would be a good story. There's certainly an element of that. Oh, there you go then. So yeah, I, I I thought he did have something. Van Dam does as well. Van Dam has actually done something in real life as well, hasn't he? When it comes to karate. About Scott Hall, yeah, maybe. But, um, <laughs> certainly not Haku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they targeted Duncan Ferguson's house. <laughs> oh dear. What did Duncan Ferguson do? It's weird, isn't it, Ducky? Yeah, it is weird. You've got to go for the 3-0, haven't you? So that's a GFI with him, or two GFI, so it's got to be the GFI with the block die. Might as well. Just do this. <laughs> yeah, I knew he liked it, but I'm sure he's done, like, I'm sure... Van Damme did like karate properly when he was young. Made the pickup. 
May the tea be glorious. That <laughs> was great, wasn't it? That scene in Kickboxer. Holy shit. Amazing. Oh, yeah, the handoff would have been safer. Oh, clever Otter Oil. That was the play, yeah. Still two, three pluses, but can't die. Yep, Otter Oil with a play. For sure. Yeah, there you go. I believe, I believe that, Jelly Oil. Yeah, with it. I like Stallone, which clearly desperately wants to be a real boxer because he did the whole thing. He did the whole thing of the contender and that, didn't he? You can tell he fucking loves it all and wishes he could do it for real. Oh, look at that. Lovely MVP for the Mighty Poor guy. Um, 57-38. 2 2 2 Out blocked the hell out of them. Wonderful. The GFIs were crazy. Look at that. 7-1. And his were 5-1. Like, that's, that's crazy, isn't it? Between the two of us. 12-2 in the snow. <laughs> 85% GFIs in the fucking snow. Crazy. What a crazy match for that. Right. It is crazy, isn't it? Start this 4 0 after the absolute slog that was the Chorves, and this has just been glorious. Glorious domination. Tempted to go Mighty Blow. It's so early, isn't it? It's so early having a block Mighty Blow and then a claw Mighty Blow as well. Could do. It was great him getting the MVP. Pretty, pretty great start, actually. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.